are back for another Snapton video. I will make two videos because first I wanted to make like in one video the installation and I'm showing you how it works but since it's going to be a bit too long for me to do this, I'm going to do it in two parts, like separate parts. If you want to remember just how to install it or how to use Snaptoon, you can still watch one of the video and not a long video. <laughs> so we are going to install Snaptoon today and we are going to install the update. You almost don't need SketchUp with Neptune and this is why I wanted to show it to you. First, what is Neptune? I'm sorry. This is a software created by this guy. Okay, I'm gonna put something here. <laughs> so you just have to follow the developer, develop, developer? The dev guy on Twitter to um, just get the updates. Uh, so yeah, it's a software like an engine to open your backgrounds and you just go from this to this. If you want to see what uh, Snaptoon is, you can just like go on my previous video or you can go on the next one I will make uh, like in a few weeks. So first, if you want to buy 3 rolls, you can still buy it on Acom3D again. Uh, this website is my like go-to for 3D models. So yeah, just go on it and tick whatever you want. Okay, so let me change the screen a little bit. Okay, I will put you the links in the description. Okay, you actually just uh, have to use one and only one link. It will just help you really, and not just for webtoons actually, also for illustrations. As you can see, you can change the sunlight, pit light. Uh, I, I will show you the software really more <laughs> uh, in the next video. I, I cannot gatekeep the software, okay? When you are on this link, you don't really need to understand Korean. You just click on download right here like the huge button right here and tada you're on the drive wow. so you just want to uh, download this one and maybe this one if you want some skies backup is for the previous version of it so you just you just don't have to download this you just like right click on it and download and same for this one I also download it um, just to have skies so once you have downloaded your two uh, zip file or just one like for this Neptune basically you just want to extract it so um, yeah that's why I'm going to do today. I personally just recommend to put your Snapchat folder in the same folder as your 3D models. I don't know why, but it works better. You don't have the, um, pro the problems with the um, textures, etc. I have my 3D models um, files here so as you can see i just recommend to decorate <laughs> your folders so you, you cannot really see my snapchat folder just because i just i just don't want to see it but um so in order to do this uh you want to right click on it properties in english maybe <laughs> and you just click right here on hidden so i'm just basically hiding this folder and when you click on it ta -da, you have your um snapchat stuff okay what's good with this uh version of it it's that you can actually open the sketchup files without sketchup in my first video about snapchat you had to um download the u data smith um export extension for uh, sketchup but here you don't need it you just need snapchat and you can open your files it's it's super cool but what we want right here is just this one snapchat import skp.exe okay just want this right click on it uh send to and you just want to send to your desktop so that's why i'm hiding the, the folder because i just don't need it i just opened um, snaptoon with my like from my desktop so this is not all you have to do okay you basically just before opening snaptoon like this you want to do something it's really important because um it can crash uh, i just knew it by the dev website you want to open it in the admin um, kind of way so you want to right click on it properties right here so you just want to click on this okay you just want the to check this um, box right here click on apply and then okay and then when you launch snaptoon ta-da you want to press yes and ta-da you have snaptoon wow i'm just gonna show you here you can import 3d 2d and SKP. I'm gonna open a 
tiny one. Mm, okay, let, let's open this one. Okay. So here, as you can see, it's an SKP file and not like a U.S.M.S. one. Ta-da! It will be open in a second. Wait, uh, I'm just gonna get rid of this. Ta-da! Wow! Oh! Salut le chien! Okay, this was my dog off. You have your uh, backgrounds. I, I just love it so much. Like, my god, this is just so cool. <laughs> I'm just going to show you quickly um, how to, you know, put your old scenes, like the old version scenes, to the new one. Like this, you will not have to remake the scenes. So it's really easy. I'm gonna create like a test one. So let's change the scene life like this. Put like a random... Random! <laughs> random um, point of light here so let's uh, save this um, test 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 and save it okay let's just close snap tune you will have your um, scene right here to find your uh, scene like the save scene you just have to go in your snap tune file so just double click on it select snap tune saved and Snaptoon project and Snaptoon import beta. As you can see, you have all your scenes right here. So let's just cut this one and put it like in another folder. So as you can see, I don't have my scene. So let's open Snaptoon again. You can see I don't have it anymore. I'm in the new one, but like for every version you have, it will be here, like on Snaptoon, saved Snaptoon project. Snap to import and ta-da. To import your scenes, cut it again and then pass it right here. Open snap to again and as you will see, you have your scene. Wow, she's here. Ta-da. Okay, so um, I hope it helps. Uh, again, in another video, I will show you how to use Snaptoon. So please be patient. So anyway, that's it for today um oh tiny bonus for you guys if you want to make this tiny thing right here uh you want to take um okay let me show you for example okay so what i personally like to do to make the icon folders you want to take the one of the pictures of the model you want to right click copy the um, picture so you want to create a new file with like um for size like two 170 pixels um, like a square past your picture you just you know crop it um, whenever you want like this okay let's make it like this save it as a PNG file you just have to go on any website that can um, convert uh, pictures and you just put like here 250 um, no 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 yeah see 56 pixels yeah yeah, yeah yeah i'm sorry uh, you just wait a little bit and you click on download one. and then after this you will have your icon right here Ta-da! and so if you want to try it you just want to right click properties personalize change the icon parcourir <laughs> so right here that's why i also did for my webtoon chapter yeah i'm just gonna take my icon okay apply to that my folder has now an icon and so now i just can click on it like this um yep so this is uh for your folders like 3d folders and as you can see i also did it for my chapters like this i just find it so much easier for me to i, I can find it really way more easily as you can see you can also make transparent backgrounds so yeah just have fun with this and hope i helped you please have fun with neptune so see you in the next video and thank you bye